Hello guys, it's Rick here, and today I'm going to be speaking about the Mickey Mouse Town, my first ever town at University of Cambridge. So, let's get into it. So, firstly, how is a Cambridge term structured? So, University of Cambridge has very short terms. Our terms are eight weeks long. So we get longer holidays, which is a perk, but on the flip side, our terms are very, very intense. So for Mickey Mouse, we had a total of nine weeks actually, because we had an added week at the start for Freshers' Week. And I'm going to be speaking about the Freshers' Week and the rest of the term in, in a chronological order. I definitely feel like being at a university, a transition from school, that you suddenly feel like more of an adult rather than a child now because now we are much more responsible for ourselves it's no longer the professors saying to our, our parents look your son's not doing well in work and i need to have a parents meeting no it's always going to be your responsibility for your actions and also especially in the course of medicine i can definitely feel that we have a lot more responsibility expected of us especially having conversations with patients as such and i can see the difference from when i was a student at school going into work experiences the amount of contents i was allowed to be exposed in hospitals as such are vastly different it was much more limited back then and with with you know such privilege comes a lot of responsibility over patient confidentiality as such so yeah i think that's a major difference from school to university so the freshest week this is where you move into the university start to settle in meet new people and try out different societies and sports so i think my initial reaction to the way Cambridge is structured is it's quite similar to that of a boarding school so I, I personally came from a boarding school background where I went to rugby school and it has its similarities so in boarding schools you normally have houses here we have colleges you live with other people as such but I think the key difference is at university it requires more independence compared to a boarding school so over the freshest week i was able to go and visit or rather have tasters for various societies and try a couple of sports and i have settled into about two or three societies and i am currently playing football for my college which i will get onto later so freshest week you settle in you meet people and you find out what you like essentially so the first week or two academics wise you think oh it's actually not bad because it's mainly based on a-level content the lectures are kind of based to try to allow you to transition into university by giving you the basic details and basic informations so i was thinking okay actually this place might not be too bad which i was very much wrong about which you'll find out later but no i think the first two weeks were generally for still being fairly relaxed and trying to get into the pattern of how life works at university once the time has started so okay so when i go to lectures and then what do i do after like do i go to societies on certain days do i go to gym sports whatever so it's really about finding your schedule pattern and just finding out which people you're always going to be like hanging around with essentially is what happened in the first two weeks and from about week three you begin to realize yeah the the course the university it's pretty tough i think for us it's mainly the issue of the amount of content there is and you realize, yeah, no, it's quite rough. But I think what 
what's been very helpful and important for me is you maintain your personal life outside of academics so I play football for Jesus which is nice like I like playing football it takes my mind off of academics and also we're still in the cup for both the first and seconds which is something to look forward for in Lent maybe I'll take some videos of it you know maybe if we get to like the finals and stuff and yeah it would be nice to win some silverware but yeah I think you should always socialize and do your hobbies and stuff outside or you'll burn out very quickly because in week five there's a concept called the week five blues which is common in University of Cambridge and it's a term for basically everyone suffering from at least a level of burnout in that in that week because we we do not have reading weeks I think except for one or two subjects which means the students do not have time to rest or look over things at their own pace but rather we're all we're all made to go through this very fast pace of learning for the entire eight weeks which can have a heavy toll on you which i definitely felt in week five because well on top of the week five blues i was actually ill for a bit but also right at the end towards week eight because in week eight i just couldn't work to be honest i was just tired and yeah sometimes it happens and you need to find the right balance but overall i think it's been a very good good term i think there are many opportunities university of cambridge offers which i'm grateful for and i think i'd like to keep trying trying to see what i like and what i might enjoy over the course of next term and next years as well because there are a wide range of things on offer and now i'm in the winter holidays or rather as they call it winter vacations because we're away from cambridge but that doesn't mean the studying stops because we have mocks when we go back in people look at it and say oh that's unfortunate but we do i think it is a good thing because we do need the mocks in order to make sure you know we're motivated and we're, we're on top of a game because at the end of the day we do need to get the grades but yeah i hope you guys enjoy the video please do leave a like and subscribe and see you next time